Hello, my name is Mike Kerwin from AC Controls. I do appreciate you guys having the opportunity to stop by. We uh, do appreciate the opportunity to see old, new, and existing customers. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about United Electric pressure switches and temperature switches. And uh, the operation is that basically you have a solid state electronic module encompassed with a microprocessor. And that gives you the ability of a solid state where it's good for vibration, shock, uh, high cycles, combined with a IAW, I am working diagnostics, that allows you to make intelligent decisions over a threshold of pressure or temperature and basically be a watchdog that allows you to make informative decisions and process conditions with a gauge, transmitter, and display all in one. Typically what you'd have out in the field is a blind switch. The switch would go into your process and it'd be a plunge type of switch. It would thread into the top of your piping and the plunger would go down into the process as I wrestle with the screw. The only way to change this would be to get tools out and to mechanically adjust your dead band right here. And once your dead band was set, it was set and it, the operation would go into process. Now with the UE1 switches you have the ability to adjust your set range and your dead band without tools with just the touch of your fingers. United Electric has a wide variety of classifications. They have general purpose classification, they have class 1 div 2, and they also have an explosion proof class 1 div 1 for uh, intrinsic and explosive areas. Um, what I'm going to do now is just kind of give you a, a look at the, the actual uh, transmitter itself. This one actually is a pressure. This one's for 30 psi application, all 316 stainless steel. Uh, so operating range is from 0 to 15 psi on this guy. Uh, first off, you see that it's got a large display, very visible. And the first thing you see is you got the I am working arrow going around. The I am working is basically your visual watchdog that's making informed decisions. Um, in the field, if there is an upset, uh, basically going back into its parameters that you've set to adjust for that upset and to give you basically peace of mind that the switch is working and doing what it needs to do. All right. Now, um, going through the flow chart, which is found on page 14 of the manual, it allows you to clear the max and min, adjust the span, adjust the plug port, adjust the delay, or adjust the 4 milliamp positive or negative, or adjust the 20 milliamp positive or negative. And to start off with that, the first thing you want to do is go to the front face of the cover and press the up arrow and right arrow simultaneously. And you have switch number one. Inside of switch number one, you have open on rise, close on rise, open on fall. Close on fall, pulse on rise, pulse on fall, open on rise, or back to the beginning. So we're going to just go ahead and open on rise, and we want to go to our next, we hit the next, we hit the right arrow, and we can set this, right now it's 3.7, let's go ahead and go to manipulate the numbers to 3.95. And then we have our dead band, which is basically our reset button. We want to go into our dead band and make sure that there is at least a numerical value there. Because inside of our dead band will give us the ability to stop our equipment from turning on very rapidly or turning off very rapidly. And in this case, we already have a, a better than zero, which is a 0.75 in here, which is good. And that means we basically just want it to go on when it's below 0.75 or above. Now we have an offset, so you can do offsets if you'd like to. You have percent of span if you'd like to adjust your span. You have latching channels, so if you'd like it to latch the alarm, basically that somebody from the operations would have to come down into the field and acknowledge the alarm to turn it off. Uh, some people like that and some people would rather have operations from the PLC system have the ability to just acknowledge the alarm from there. Plug port technology. Plug port technology will give you the ability to tell you if that port gets plugged and make informed decisions on that. Right now it's off. I'm going to hit on. You get a one minute intervals. 
at the PCI you'd like. Okay. And then you can also do a delay if you'd like to. And then you can save changes and you're done. Save changes. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can give it some pressure. Switch number one. This is going to go to 3.7 before it hits and it switched. And we'll take it off. Let's try again. Over range. So we've gone over our exceeded range there. So it allows you, it gives you the diagnostics there of telling you what's going on. And further diagnostics are available on page 14 of your manual, which gives you different types of error codes and so forth and so on to help you visually get an indication of where you're at with your United Electric pressure transmitter. Okay, so to kind of sum it all up, United Electric also, a uh, very unique aspect is this switch does not require power. Basically, it's just a plug and plunger. Well, theoretically, on a two wire, it doesn't require power as well. It can go off a of leakage current. Leakage current from your DCS or PLC system can run it. Basically, if you have less than about two milliamps, you could run one of these off and in place of where this guy was at. You can plug and play your now electric um, gauge and transmitter and give you all the flexibility that you once had was well, just a mechanical switch. Okay guys, to sum it all up, we've had the opportunity to look and see what UE has to offer as far as gauge pressure, differential pressure, and temperature. And they have a wide range of those product lines so that we can narrow in on your exact needs and capabilities. Um, we Today we were able to go through the process of a quick setup. These things are very easy to set up. Uh, we have the plug port technology, the I am working self-diagnostics, uh, basically, the solid state electronics with the microprocessor allows us for great accuracy and repeatability down to 0.1% repeatability. Uh, so these are a great line of products that can be used in the field to custom fit where you maybe had a mechanical switch and you'd like to have now the electric switch which allows you for the, the transmitter, the self display and the switch all in one great package that the package also allows you to adjust your set point and adjust your dead band which makes this a very nice comparable package to slip right out there where you had your mechanical switch previously. I'm Mike Kerwin with AC Controls. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the future.